Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, as I come to you right now, and it is a time where our Palestinian brothers have been suffering from atrocities for the last two weeks in a way that only Allah knows the reality. I just want to draw your attention to the issue of the media. I found that many Muslims will look at the media and they would take what the reports are from the media as gospel truth. I think that all of us have come to the realization right now that the media is a cesspool that has nothing to do with the reality of the truth and fairness. The way, the lopsided, one-sided way of reporting this conflict they call it a war it's not a war a war is when two sides come together and they're fighting each other palestinians are barely putting forward any resistance right here in the masajid of the uk and of america if you were to give sadaqa fi sabilillah to help the children who are dying you know, the powers to be can accuse you of being a terrorist and a person who's supporting terror. And that's a point I want to bring to your attention, that there are a million innocent children who are caught in the crossfire and caught in the middle of this conflict. I really believe that if the American government were to allow the American viewers to know the reality of just the suffering of the children if the western countries allow the media to show the simple suffering of the children i believe people will be naturally inclined to change their stance so that it's not so one-sided that it's not so ignorant so right now so much is going on to depict the Palestinians as being animals and subhuman and ignorant people who just go along with the flow as it relates to the narrative and the position and the point of view of the media. I think enough has happened for us as Muslims to realize don't listen to the media. Don't pay attention to the media. Not doing this conflict and not after this conflict, inshallah. Be careful and be weary of the narrations of the media. In our religion, we have an ethical responsibility to always say the truth and to be upon the truth. Our website here at Rahma, do you know if we put certain words into the title of our talks, then those talks would be naturally designed to get the fewest viewers as possible because of the long arm and the long reach of these people against humanity. There are atrocities that are, uh, that are happening right now, war crimes right now, people being deprived the basics of human existence. Electricity, water, and food. The oppressive, apartheid, racist, Zionist state of Israel announced to the world, we're going to do this and this and this. Everything that they promise leads to a war crime. But the world stood behind. And aside, on the side, didn't say anything. So my, visit, my, my advice to you is, as the imam, I can get in trouble. If I come to the people and I say whatever I want to say, they could depict me however they want to depict me. And you, with your job, with your platform, you can get in trouble. They can shut down your platform, shut down your Facebook, shut down whatever platform you have. And as a result of that, we are afraid to say the truth. I'm not going to, you know, tell you what to do, but I will say this. I will say this. You know that hadith, anyone who sees a bad thing, let him change it with his hand. If he can't, let him change it with his tongue. If he can't, let him change it with his heart. And that's the weakest of al-Iman. 
I want to say to you, brothers and sisters, whatever you have in terms of platforms, whatever you have in terms of what's at your disposal to bring out the truth, just remember the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. None of you should, should allow a person's position of respect or power to prevent you from saying the truth. La yamna'anna rajulan nas. Don't let anyone allow someone's position to prevent him from saying the truth if he witnessed it and he knows it. This is the call here today. Because what we have right now, people trying to be politi politically correct. What is political correctness? Are the Zionists being politically correct? Are the major media outlets being politically correct? Why do we always have to come on the back foot and defensive and apologizing? If you have a voice and you have a platform, then I implore you, make your voice heard in a way that is responsible, in a way that is within the law to show the outer community the reality of what's going on. And this is what we tried to do here at Rahma TV. We try to let the people know. We condemn and we are against the killing of any civilians from any side. We're not with that. That's not our religion. But at the same time, we are totally vehemently opposed to feeding the community false narratives and people being afraid based upon this council, council culture. We're going to cancel you. And people are afraid of that. Let Allah Azzawajal's murdat and his pleasure be your main goal and your main focus. And let us say the truth, wherever it happens to be. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.